You gotta do what you gotta do. That's only three days in as well. That's one thing I have to get used to. That's why I was a little bit shocked when I realised. I can't believe I would do anything for a bit of chocolate. Hello. I'm gonna be trying intermittent fasting for three days. Now, I'm not in the business of losing weight or anything. I just wanna see if it's as good as everyone says it is. Apparently it improves mental clarity, gives you more energy. I've heard it helps relieve the symptoms of bloating, which if you watch my previous video, you'll know that I am quite susceptible to. The only problem with me is I am such a huge breakfast person. Like it's the first thing I do in the morning. As soon as I wake up, I go to breakfast. And unfortunately my body clock hates me. So it makes me wake up at seven o'clock pretty much on the dot every single day. So I've chose my eating window to be between 10 and six at night. So basically I'll eat between those eight hours and then fast for the rest of the time, which already talking about it, no, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. So it's about 10 to eight now. I have been up since seven and Sounds like I'm being dramatic. I probably am, but I am hungry. I think I'm gonna go on a walk to distract myself in the meantime. Before I go on a walk, I'm gonna make breakfast in preparation for me coming back. <sighs> I'm not gonna eat any. I'm just gonna prepare it. Oh my God, I've run out of chocolate chips. Oh no, it'll have to do. Already? This ain't it. Already I just want to go home and have a bowl of yoghurt. I don't know what to do. Time is moving very slow. I reckon I'll do about a 10 minute stretch. Just to limber up my body, get ready for the food. <laughs> about half a pot of yoghurt in there. Breakfast cookies, two of them, a few berries. It's extremely thick. Just waiting. Okay, ready. I hope that gets easier because that was hard. I'm not being dramatic, well I am. Mm -hmm. Thing is, I feel like my day has only just begun now when in fact I've been up for three hours and I really haven't been that productive, which is a little bit annoying. I just felt like my day hadn't started yet. Stupid reasoning. I'm just doing a bit of editing now and um, I feel like I've got so much more energy, which is what we wanted. I think the biggest thing here is to make sure that I eat enough throughout the day to make sure that I get enough food in, in this little eating window, because that's gonna be quite hard. So I should probably have some lunch. Before I know it, it will be time to make dinner. I'm gonna try and make it as hearty as possible just because I know I need to pack the food in before I'm not allowed to eat again. I'm gonna do that thing where you blend avocado with white beans to make it more of a complete meal. I'm just gonna use the whole avo. I need to get my food in. And this is where we don't judge because I'm gonna add mussels. Honestly, they're one of my favorite things ever. <laughs> with a bit of lemon juice, a bit of chili, can't go wrong. One o'clock. So yeah, I'm not especially hungry, but here we go. You gotta do what you gotta do. I just uploaded a video, by the way. You should definitely watch it. It's a great watch. I think this would take a lot of planning. If you had like a proper nine to five office job, it would be hard to try and fit everything in. I suppose you change the hours to make it work for you. Couple of rice cakes as a snack. I've left it so late. I'm not gonna have time to eat it. What I've got is a roasted red pepper here. I'm just gonna take the skin off, blend it up, make a quick pasta sauce. I don't have time to do this. Snacking. This is um, red lentil pasta that I get from Aldi. It's so cheap and it's really tasty. Even though I'm not that hungry, I am actually enjoying my food. I'm not not hungry, but I'm not hungry. You know? I need to hurry up, so. Bang on time. Currently on a little post-dinner stroll. Yeah, it was actually way easier than I thought it would be. What time is it now? It's half seven. I'm not sure three days is actually long enough for me to feel or see a big difference. No harm in trying. Good morning. Day two. I'm feeling good. It's half seven now. I slept soundly through the night, so that was nice. I don't feel overly hungry. Like, I definitely feel like I could wait. I mean, I normally leave a bit of a gap before going to bed after eating my last meal, 
but that felt good to leave that much of a gap so this might not just be a three day thing this could be a lifelong change I'm going to try and get things done this morning. I've got a load of washing to do, so we'll do that. <laughs> I'm going to be taking full advantage of the fact that coffee is allowed during the fast. Just letting you know. Isn't she gorgeous? I made cauliflower hash browns and then just put a soft boiled egg on top and called it a day. Delish. I needed something salty. Half 10 now. I wasn't even thinking about my breakfast. That's the thing, that's why it's a little bit later. I haven't caught up with you in a while, but I'm feeling good. I've been doing pretty well today. I've been snacking more, so my energy levels have been kept up, which is good. I had some more of those oat cookies that I made yesterday. I had some olives, I had some more rice cakes, and now it is one o'clock. Ta-da! I'm about to eat my lunch. I don't really have anything to say. I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a good time. The thing is, nothing's really changing. I'm not changing the type of food I'm eating. I'm just changing the hours in which I eat. I'm not eating anything different. But it feels really natural. Something that I've noticed is that water is very filling. So it's kind of compromising the amount of food that I can fit in. Going forward, I think I'm going to try and concentrate my liquids to when I'm fasting. That's not to say that I'm not going to drink any liquid at all during this little eight hour window but it is quite tricky when you're not really that hungry for food because you've drunk so much liquid just another reason why i think it'd be really easy to lose weight doing it intermittent fasting but when you're trying to maintain it, it's quite tricky just an observation i've done it again <laughs> i've left it really late to start making my dinner the thing is i'm used to just eating when i'm hungry and not really having to plan ahead so that's one negative i suppose that's one thing i have to get used to it's gonna have to be another quick one and i'm gonna make rice noodles tonight so let's do that How quick was that? Ooh. There is no elegant way to eat a noodle. I'm gonna cut the camera and eat this in private, if you don't mind. So this is called a distraction. I'm trying to fill my evenings up because they really seem to be dragging when I have an early dinner. So I'm gonna use this spare time wisely to do some much needed foam rolling, which I always seem to put off. And I've said it out loud now, so I have to do it. I have to do it. It feels quite nice. I mean, when you first try it, it's like, don't do that. I am craving chocolate so much. It's half nine at night. I would do anything for a bit of chocolate. It's not even physical hunger, like I'm not even that hungry, but it's mentally. I would love just to be snacking on a bit of chocolate while watching a film. It's just a nice thing to do. This is really hard. <laughs> it's only day two. I hate having rules. They're so stupid. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to have a cup of tea, but tea is not chocolate. It's just not chocolate. This is self-inflicted pain. Definitely a first world problem. I'm craving chocolate for a reason. If you know, you know. I'm gonna go for this chamomile bedtime number. So you know those days when you wake up and you're a little bit more fluffier, a little bit puffier than usual? Basically, you're bloated. Normally I don't think twice about it because it could be due to a number of reasons. You might not have drunk enough water the day before, you might have had really salty food, it might be due to your hormones, a number of reasons. Which is why I was a little bit shocked when I realized. Let me show you. I woke up with absolutely no blow at all which is unusual for me. I'm shocked. Another note, I've got loads of energy today. Loads of energy. 10 past seven. My digestion, I don't know if you want to know about this, but it's been regular. I'm just feeling so positive about this. Despite my little chocolate blip last night, I can't believe how much better my digestion is. Just from that small change. I really think there's something in leaving a gap. That's only three days in as well. Everything was pointing against me. I had really salty noodles last night. It's my time of the month, so it would be completely normal for me to be a bit bloaty. I don't know if it's completely to do with the fasting. Honestly, I can't think of anything else. I've eaten exactly the same that I would have normally. Did I mention I've got a lot of energy? Because I have. So I'm going to do a morning workout, fasted, which is something that I never thought I'd do. I don't know where this has come from. It's 20 past seven and uh, I'm going to get hench. Never saying that again. <laughs> Snacking while I cook my breakfast. I'm not allowed to eat. Just thought I'd let you know that that clock is always incorrect. <laughs> Actual time is quarter past one. If you ever see it in the background, it's lying. 
obviously the only thing that I actually don't like about this is I have breakfast and then I immediately have to have something for lunch. Like I don't find there's enough of a gap for me to be hungry. But I do feel very energized and alert. So I'm gonna make myself a chili because it's really gray outside and chili sounds good. And cherries, by the way, taste really nice this time of year. It's 10 to two. So again, I've left it a little bit too late. If anyone has any tips on when to do your meals, let me know because I clearly can't find the balance. I'm always like rushing to eat my dinner because I don't have enough time. That bird has got a worm in its mouth. Snacking when I'm not hungry, check. I'm just gonna plate up my dinner now. I've been snacking most of the afternoon on walnuts. Who's surprised because I'm not? Honestly, my favorite things. I'm just plating up a bowl of sweet potato wedges with salmon and asparagus. Asparagus is underrated. Like the video if you agree. And if you disagree, like the video as well. Hi, Nala. So here we are, my last fasted meal. It's been emotional. I know it's only been three days, but still. I've not had that 3 p.m. like slump. You know when you get tired in the afternoon? I've not had that just because I've been constantly grazing that I've not really had time to feel tired. Hmm. So I guess I've had more energy. It's 5.40 now. I'll probably check with you later tonight, see how I'm feeling then. So I thought I'd do a little conclusion. So it's quarter to 10 now. I've been going to bed feeling really good. I don't feel stuffed or uncomfortable. I just feel neutral, which is probably a good thing. This is after a full day of eating, so I'm kind of impressed. Like normally when I'm going to bed, I at least have a little bit of swelling. So I think one thing that I'm gonna take away from this is I'm probably gonna start eating my dinner a little bit earlier because that has been amazing because my digestion has been so magnifique. I shan't be carrying the rest of it on. I'm too much of a breakfast person and I don't like the rules. I also don't like the idea that I couldn't eat a bit of chocolate if I fancied it in the evening. Basically, I don't think the benefits are enough for me to do it long term, but it was definitely fun to try. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you want me to do more things like this, just let me know. Give the video a like, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.